Welcome to this session in text completion. We're going to take a look at a typical two blank question and we are also going to see how the use of root words can help you to solve a question. Let's take a look at the question first. Most people consider blank moral weaknesses a characteristic trait of politicians. So the newly incumbent senator hardly caused a stir when forced to finally respond to insistent demands by media networks he confessed to an act of blank so there are two things i want to draw your attention to in this question one is roots and the second is tone most people consider blank moral weaknesses so weakness is definitely a negative word something to moral weaknesses a characteristic trait of politicians so again if you look at the word politicians itself it does not have any negative meaning as such but we normally associate negative traits with politicians so in other words we are saying politicians have moral weaknesses right we've already got the negative word here so we can associate it with this as well we're talking about a characteristic trait that is negative so is a cause and effect word and when you take a look at cause and effect remember the cause and the effect always have to have the same tone right so if the cause is negative the effect will also have to be negative you can't have a positive consequence of a negative event so even in this part of the sentence we are likely to continue with the negative tone unless there is some contrast indicator so the newly incumbent senator a newly incumbent senator a senator who has just been elected into power hardly caused a stir meaning no one was surprised the phrase hardly caused a stir means stir means disturbance so he didn't cause any disturbance so it was unsurprising when forced to finally respond to insistent demands by media networks he confessed to an act of blank so confess again is something negative you would usually confess to something bad not something good so he confessed to an act of some kind of negativity so the second blank is often easier to solve than the first and we can also take a look at a couple of roots here so let's examine the words first here we have a root c u l p c u l p means blame this is a fairly complex question so if you know that the root means blame but you've not seen the word before you might be tempted to choose it as the answer but the prefix makes a big difference too so ex culpability somebody who is ex culpable is blameless the prefix is used to create the opposite so this can't be the answer there's another root here m a l a prefix actually and m a l means negative m a l always means something negative something bad as a prefix so if you come across a complex word that you haven't seen before and it starts with the prefix m a l you can be reasonably sure that it has a negative meaning So in this case again malevolence is a tempting choice because we are looking for a negative word he confessed to an act of malevolence but let's look more closely at the meaning of malevolence malevolence means ill will wanting to hurt somebody being cruel or unkind so even though it's a negative word it doesn't exactly fit the meaning of this sentence because nothing in the sentence is really telling us that he was cruel or unkind so option e venality means corrupt right a venal person is corrupt especially open to bribery and other such acts so in the context of the sentence option e is a better choice now if we go back to the first blank blank moral weaknesses so resistance to moral weaknesses would be something good resistance to something bad would be something good so we don't want something good endorsement of when you endorse something you support it or you advertise it so somebody who has a moral weakness is hardly likely to advertise it susceptibility susceptible means vulnerable to 
so vulnerability to moral weaknesses means giving in to moral weaknesses therefore c is the best choice for blank one thanks for watching this video in root strategies uh, for further information you are welcome to visit our website gre4u.com we also have specialized workshops in text completion where we will be focusing separately on how to use roots how to use prefixes how to use tone and so on so do visit our website for further details and look up information on our specialized workshops which will definitely give you an edge in your gre preparation thank you and have a nice day